Yanks led by General Eisenhower were well prepared to celebrate Independence Day on the firing line in France. And there was a special message for the head Nazi. As noon approached on the glorious 4th, General Omar Bradley let loose the first greeting to the Germans. In all the liberated towns and villages, Yanks and French join in the celebration. Here's a French Betsy Ross. Meanwhile, the bloody fight for La Haye de Puy continued. German snipers hidden in the hedgerows and concealed in the famous Norman apple orchards made it tough for the Yanks. Signal Corps pictures show prisoners captured by the victorious Americans. The stubborn battle for the town results in heavy casualties on both sides. Canadians are in the thick of it. A gun carrier is set afire. The man driving the Canadian film unit cameraman paid with his life for these pictures. Many prisoners fall to the Canadians also, adding to the grand total of 55,000 taken since D-Day. In the French town of Grand Carlebin, everyone gathers for a joyful liberation celebration, as shown by these Air Force pictures. The children have made American flags from paper, coloring them with watercolors. They've learned a song to honor our boys. In Rome, liberated from the fascist and the Nazi, wreaths are placed on the Victory Manual Memorial. In the free Roman breezes flies the flag so dear to every American, the flag of liberty. Liberty.